hi welcome back to the channel this is my first harvest of 2018 I managed to pick a few strawberries all the broad beans and um, some garlic scapes but here is my purple podded peas which is the blau shocker and a little update of what the allotment plot is looking like the strawberries aren't really that much good at the moment but the apples seem to be coming on nicely on the red la vera apple tree it seems to have had the june drop so i'll show you the floor and there's a few apples that it's dropped but i've still got quite a few on there seeing as last year i had three so i'm hoping this year i'll have quite a few more so i'll look forward to trying those now uh, quickly in the greenhouse this is my watermelon for the watermelon challenge and it seems to be doing okay in this pot at the moment I'm thinking of growing it in a slightly larger pot and not planting it in the ground because my last one died as soon as I planted it so I've got a few cucumbers coming on this little cucumber plant here these are the ones I planted in my house early in the year uh, the Brussels sprouts are coming along nicely. I've got my first chilli on the chilli plant <clears throat> that someone gave me. So that's coming along nicely, although the plant doesn't look too healthy, so I might have to feed it something. This is my re-sowing of the okra. Um, I also planted some more gherkins because none of mine came up. Red cabbage and... I think I planted, oh yeah, a market mall cucumber at the back there and some lettuce and rocket and spring onions. So I'm hoping, it's covered in ants. My greenhouse is full of ants. It's driving me insane. But um, there's the kale as well that I'm going to be putting in my back garden because I haven't got any more room on the plot. This is Dad's grafted Shirley tomato, which has outgrown the uh, tomato spirals. And I've just hooked that up there with some string to keep it up. I haven't actually got any tomatoes yet, but I have got some flowers. And I'm hoping they've been pollinated, so we should have some tomatoes shortly. Fingers crossed those ones are going to produce a tomato any day now. And um, this is my cucumber plants. I think I have two there, maybe three. And um, no cucumbers yet, but hopefully there will be. I think the one is a female only uh, flower, so should have something. The Cape gooseberries are doing well. And so are the sweet peppers. Or the, yeah, sweet peppers. Uh, some basil down there. There's not much left in the greenhouse. And this is my first outdoor tomato. Which is strange. The plant doesn't look too healthy though. I did give it a dose of Epsom salts the other day, so fingers crossed it's alright. Um, the potatoes are coming along nicely. The onions seem to be doing quite well. It seem to have a little bit of rust on them, but we'll see. Um, my last allium flower there. It's uh, the one I bought from the Cardiff show. And it's looking really pretty, although I wish they'd all come out together. Most of the other ones did, but I think this one was only late because I replanted it. But it's gorgeous. And um, I'm not sure whether those little white bits on the inside are like bulbs that it forms that you can plant like a seed I don't know but I'm gonna try it anyway and then we have the second early potatoes there they're in flower don't know why my camera work is so bad at the moment uh, but I love these flowers the corn flowers they're ever so pretty there's some lavender And I wish I'd planted so many more cornflowers. Just look at the blue on purples on those. They're amazing. So next year, I'm going to plant more. 
And I've got a few more flowers in there since I filmed this yesterday. But I um, I forgot to film them today, so the dahlias are in, as you can see. We haven't had much slug damage yet, but uh, I can see a little bit of it on there. I'm not sure what, what I'm supposed to do with them now. So am I supposed to feed them? What do they have? I'm not sure, so I'll have to look that up. Sweet peas are looking nice. Not the greatest display I've ever had, but I'm hoping the other ones that I have in there will do a lot better. These do smell absolutely gorgeous though, and I just keep cutting them back and they just keep growing more. It's great. And as you can see, I planted quite a few marigolds there, and the slugs at most of them, but they did leave me one plant, which is good. Uh, this is my jackby little pumpkin. I'm hoping to grow these up the inside of the trellis. I've got one each side, so fingers crossed I'll be able to do that. And this is the Boss Coop Glory Blue Grapes, I think they call them, but they look almost black. And uh, I'm going to have another look at the Blau Shocker Peas. That's the flowers, gorgeous. And the actual pods, gorgeous dark purple. I believe the peas inside them are green, so I'm hoping they'll fill up soon and I'll be able to taste them, see what they're like. That one's looking good. So that's the obelisk with the peas on and the not so spectacular sweet peas. Those are the strawberries, um, courgettes, and the radishes that I've planted. I haven't been watering the celery as much, so it's gone a little bit yellow, but hopefully it'll be fine. The swede and onions that I planted from seed are doing all right. And this is my asparagus, and it is covered in asparagus beetle. Now, I'm not too pleased about this because it's going to weaken it for next year. But I have been putting some um, diatomous earth, I'm not sure how you say it, over the plant to um, try and get rid of them. But they just seem to be flying about everywhere and I have to keep covering it in this earth. Uh, so I also read that if you plant tomatoes around them, they don't like the smell of tomatoes, so I haven't planted one there, which I will. And these are my carrots. But I have planted the um, tomatoes around the other asparagus that I have. So as you can see, here is my little asparagus. So this is the new crowns that I put in. And next to those I've planted a tomato. Doesn't seem to be much asparagus beetle on this one, or these ones, but there are on the others. And this is the clematis, which is doing quite well now. It actually seems to be growing a lot. There's the tomato. And there's the asparagus. So I'm hoping that that's purring them off. And I also have some mint, some more of that earth over these, because they really annihilated them. They were just gone. There's one on there, if you can see him. I just don't know how to get rid of them without bug spray. I might try some garlic stuff, I don't know. But um, I've also put a tomato by here. But look at him. He's happy enough. Eating my asparagus. I got three of them on there the other day. You can imagine what they were doing. And this is my fig tree, which I'm keeping in the pot. Um, my currant bush and my thornless blackberries. So I'm hoping we should get quite a crop of blackberries this year. And I cannot wait. And thank you all for watching, liking and subscribing and hope you have a lovely weekend.